Is it still possible to make money with mobile apps in crowded niche, for example, with habit tracking application? I tested this theory and let me share my results. Here is my habit tracking application. I developed it for a while ago and it was just, I don't know, abandoned, basically on hold in the app store. It was, uh, I released it. Let me tell you, I released it first version in uh, very late 2022. So yeah, basically January 2023, that was a release date. That was the when first version of this app was released. But it was very simple, very basically that was just one widget to track one habit on the screen and that's it. And the application made zero money. And it was basically on hold. I didn't do anything with it, but in the... December this year, I decided, okay, I would like to upgrade it. I had some feature requests and basically I wanted to add more functionality and test, can we really make money with app in so crowded niche like, like habit tracking applications? So I updated the application currently how it looks like. Basically, it is, uh, basically it is habit tracking application with a widget on it. So in the app, itself basically here you see today's view here is calendar view okay let's add few habits to have something to track so here basically based on my onboarding experience which will come later i have few habits recommended let's add this push-ups for example maybe one more let's say something like uh reading let's say something like that here is description okay read every day tra -ta 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 -ta, whatever and we can enable notifications if we want to, and so on. So, uh, yeah, let's make it different color to stand out somehow. Okay, reading, push-ups, basically that's my goal. Here is my calendar where I, can, where I can mark when I did the thing. And here is my basically today view when I see what should I do today. I should, I should read and I should do push-ups. And again, it is kind of marked here on the calendar already because I marked it here on today's view. Still quite simple application. And question, can we make money with application like that? I think yes. And how we can stay out in a crowd of all the habit tracking applications. I think that, for example, in my application, that unique thing what I have, it is uh, habits, what I have here, for example, is my kind of this, what I just added, reading habit, and I can basically add uh, multiple widgets, let's say. Here is basically on my home screen. I will show you how that looks on my phone. Here basically are my habits. I, I would like to do working on my indie applications every day. That's here. And basically also content creation. Content creation is to be done. I can tap here, mark as a done. And yeah, I see on the... I like this visual representation of my kind of habits that I'm tracking. I would like to work on my applications. I would like to create content daily. That's what I do. And I have that on my screen. And that's my reminder. Ivar, do not be lazy. Do your thing. Okay, whatever. That's basically functionality. Let's talk about money. How much you can make money with app like that. You can make a shitload of money or a little bit of money. I'm making a little bit of money. Here are my stats from basically last 28 days. From downloads, you can see here basically zero <laughs> downloads on December. What, what, what was that? December 24, close to zero. And then you can see that spike, that is new version release. And I posted few stories. I posted on Instagram, uh, in Reels. I posted on other social networks. Also, if you follow me on YouTube, if you're watching this video on YouTube, so probably you heard me mentioning this app in my YouTube videos as well. And that generated 621 download. Is it a lot? Um, that's up to you. I think that's quite good for basically, let's say, relaunch of application. And from revenue perspective, so in the last 28 days, that's so much money in, in sales. So one more sale and I will have my developer's license back. Is that a lot of money? Probably no. But if I will be able to kind of increase it uh, month by month, 
that can may that can become something kind of uh, more significant, something bigger. And yeah, uh, I also improved in some keywords, which was a goal. I changed the app name and I started to rank for different keywords, which is interesting. I noticed that there is one very similar application. Maybe I can proudly say that I have my own copycat in the habit tracking application niche as well. Icon looks very similar, but okay, check mark is just check mark, you know. Strict and uncontable, but but basically name was my app name was also I had I tried to hit Atomic Habits name, but I dropped that idea because there are too many applications and there is also Atomic Habit application created by author of book Atomic Habits, so doesn't make sense to compete for this keyword anymore. Now I'm focusing more on the small habits, and I do not hope that there are a big search amount for small habits in the app store, but I hope that I will get some traction from habit word and also for those who are basically from content marketing. If I will keep mentioning small habit app, then basically that will work great for, for the search. And yeah, difficulty is 41 on this keyword, but I'm number one on it, so fingers crossed that will work. Uh, yeah, for paywalls, I am using... For monetization in the application, currently I am using Adapti paywalls. I have kind of mixed feelings. Uh, in previous products, uh, projects, I used Revenue Cat paywall. Revenue Cat paywall works just fine. With Adapti paywalls, I had a little bit of problems. Basically, I created new paywall for onboarding flow. For some reason, it didn't show up in tests but after some period of time it started to show up so I don't know what exactly is going on here but yeah currently it works and yeah what what are benefits from adaptive paywalls basically you can create paywalls quite easily here is this paywall what you just saw basically you just add products here and then you have kind of web builder for the paywall and this image is just from I generated a few images in mid-journey, so I don't know, multiple different ones. I decided to go with something like this, more like, looks more like human, less like AI, but uh, yeah, whatever. So you can easily and quickly create those paywalls here. Revenue Cat also has option to create paywalls on web, but those pay, that paywall, paywall builder is more kind of limited. There are way more templates. Here you can see plenty of templates. But I will say that all of them, from first, when you take a look first time, you're kind of, oh yeah, cool, so many different paywalls. But uh, when you start to look closely on them, you basically have to modify each and every of them and I don't know few of them looks quite basic yeah I don't know but anyways I will try I will play a, uh, a bit more with Adapti just to have kind of better experience with it and also I created uh, also I created one A-B test that will run on the onboarding flow let me know if you are interested in updates in India development like this one. If yes, then I will do video about what I created for onboarding flow, how it works, what works, what not. My main point was that uh, yes, you even can build habit tracking applications. There are hundreds of habit tracking applications in the App Store, but you still can build one and make money from it if you have idea how to promote it. First of all, first of all you have something something to stand out in my case i think those are those widgets at least that's what i like in my application and i hope that that is what my customers like in the application but you have to stand out somehow because otherwise for example currently very popular is um, habit kit application let me see habit kit Mm, yeah, this one, Habit Tracker application. Amazing application built by indie, solo indie developer. Uh, that's a great application, but this 
type of widget, it's great. I like how it looks. That's just not what, what I want to see in widget, but I see that so many habit trackers currently just copy this type of widget just because this application is popular and uh, Stefan, author of this application, also kind of sharded his revenue and so on and <laughs> he making more than 10k in a month from this application. So there are shitload of copycats of this application. Uh, I like little bit different widgets, so I created my own application. But yeah, if you have a way to stand out from other applications, you still can make money and also you should think about marketing. How will you get your first hundred, first thousand downloads and, and so on. So I am close to my first thousand downloads already. I think that in next month I will definitely reach thousand downloads and yeah, fingers crossed to make more money next month. But yeah, let me know if you are interested in updates like this one. Okay, that's it. Bye bye.